Welcome to the SIU Equine Science Program. This is the SIU Horse Center, one of two basic facilities that we use to teach the applied portion of our curriculum. This is what we call the top barn where we keep our riding horses and our breeding horses. We have another facility where we do our research and some of the more applied teaching which is involved with physiology and management of horse farms. The program goes back about 25 years. Um, back when I was hired here, I was asked to, to start a horse program. We had the basic barn here and five horses. And from that, we've built up to 12 different classes, the only major in equine science in the entire state of Illinois. Um, we're rather unique in our curriculum in the entire Midwest. We have about 50 horses on the property and about 60 students that are majoring in equine science. What I try to explain to incoming students that are interested in the study of horses is really when you're looking at college horse programs, they divide themselves roughly into two categories. And regardless of what their titles are, I mentally place them in the category of equestrian studies or equine science. In equestrian studies, the curriculum is really heavily oriented towards riding and training of horses and indulging your love of riding horses and in competition while you're pursuing a degree in college. The equine science curriculum is much more heavily science applied. Uh, there's very few of them in the country. SIU is one of about a dozen that are true equine science programs. And they're emphasizing the science of managing horses and the business of managing horse operations. This is our beginning riding class. So these are the students that are just beginning to learn the rudiments of balance and control while on a horse. One of the things that we teach in our riding classes that's a bit different from most other riding curricula is we don't specify a given discipline in riding. What we're trying to do is teach the student's body how to interact with the horse's body. So it's more applied biomechanics that we're trying to teach. As far as the curriculum goes in the classroom, we try to teach from a scientific basis. So we're trying to give the students exposure to the broad gamut of how a horse operates from the inside out, from back to front. The idea being that they learn how to problem solve. If they can understand how a horse operates, then any time in the future when they're out in the horse industry and they're presented with a problem that perhaps we haven't offered them a solution for in class, they have all the tools that they need to figure out the answer to the problem because they understand the physiology and the nature of the horse. So they can pose a solution, go ahead and implement it, and see whether it works for those horses. We work our students really hard here. So by the time they get done with this curriculum, and there's a mandatory internship after they're done with the on-campus part of the curriculum, they really have a good feel for the demands of the horse industry. And we make no bones about it. The horse industry is a really tough industry, and you have to be tough to survive in it. And the students that go on and get themselves jobs in the horse industry, about half of them are going on farm, and they're managing or assistant managers at all kinds of different stables, be they breeding stables, riding stables, training stables, those kind of situations. The other half are spread throughout the entire gamut of the horse industry. So they're in feed and pharmaceutical sales, in development. Um, we have students that work at the racetracks. We have students that work in all kinds of occupations that are associated with horses. We have a number of students that are in the administration of justice as well as with horses, so they're mounted policemen. We've had students that have gone on to careers in the circus, so they go all over the place. A number of students like to get into the biomedical field, so either they're going to veterinary school out of here and, and specializing in horses, or they're going into the sport industries in medicine. A lot of physical therapists, a lot of massage therapists, a lot of students that are interested in veterinary technology working with horses are coming out of this program. In our equine science program, we have a somewhat unique emphasis in that we approach everything from the natural horsemanship perspective. 
The thing that I preach to my students is you are here for the benefit of the animal, not for your own self-benefit or your own self-gratification. So sometimes that takes a little bit of a change in their mindset when they come here, but everything is devoted to the welfare of the horse here. So we try to give the horse an environment where they're going to be physically and mentally at their best, which includes nutrition or a nutritional program, a lifestyle that's as close to the natural environment as possible. Our animals are all turned out and allowed to socialize. They're raised naturally from the time they're young and socialized both with other horses and with humans. Most people that are animal lovers understand that there's a special bond between horses and humans, and particularly the female gender and horses. Um, my equine science program is over 95% female enrollment. Uh, and I think one of the things that really appeals to women in particular is the fact that you can take an animal that is so much larger and more powerful than you are and if you understand the nuances of their behavior with very little effort, you can completely control that animal. And I think there's a, a feeling of empowerment that the students get from being able to do that. Aside from the fact that the horse is the only livestock animal that really is capable of bonding with a human in a very companion animal way. So giving back the same kind of emotion and devotion that our typical companion animals and dogs and cats are capable of doing. There, there's very few cows or pigs that you can really snuggle up to. And the best part of what I do is watching these students develop. Usually it takes about a year, sometimes two, and the students that really grab onto it just blossom. And to watch them take the bit in their teeth, uh, pardon the pun, but and, and just take over and want to absorb everything that they're exposed to is a wonderful thing to witness. And you can watch them go beyond their, their limitations that they came with. It's just so gratifying.